Welcome to Popular Cruising and our review of the Viking Sky from Viking Ocean Cruises. The Sky is the third sister ship behind the Viking Star and Viking Sea and differs only slightly from the first two. And of course we'll be sure to point out any of the changes. Accommodations on board begin with veranda staterooms. A cozy setting that gets a teddy bear thumbs up of approval. With wonderful charging stations at each nightstand. Convenient sitting area. And desk with another great five USB charging ports. And clever vanity mirror flip top. Of course the veranda itself is an inviting feature. And then back inside, complementing the minibar, is also a nice pod coffee maker. But the bathrooms are particularly pleasant on this ship, not just because of premium toiletries, but because of much larger than average entry level showers that are far easier to turn around in, and then also get dried off outside of. Featuring the same bathrooms, but stepping up in overall size, are the penthouse veranda staterooms. Featuring a wider cabin space and additional storage. Larger still are penthouse junior suites. With more delineated bedroom and living areas. And a bigger bathroom. With an even larger shower plus his and her sinks, and a towel warmer. Leveling up again are the ship's corner location explorer suites, complete with a full separate living room, master bedroom, with a walk-in closet off to the side, and an upgraded bathroom, with a luxurious ocean view shower and bathtub. Of course, the best of the best on board is the owner's suite, with an impressive living room and full dining table and wine cellar, plus comfortable master bedroom and master bathroom, complete with its own ocean view dry sauna. The suite's even large enough to include its own boardroom. Speaking of which, privately shielded on the other side is the first of the activities on board, in the form of faux flames inviting you to the Explorer's Lounge. The observation venue is easily one of the best at sea. For including not one, but two decks worth of scenic seating. arranged around games, artifacts, and books worthy of discovery. Unique to the Viking Sky on the first level is the newly named Paps, the Explorer's Bar, honoring Viking Cruises founder and chairman, Torstein Hagen's father. And of course, just next door, the Momsen's Norwegian Deli is still an homage to his mother. And the location for delicious treats throughout the day, but we'll get to more food later. Just above the Explorer's Lounge is the Sports Deck. With its classic outdoor games including shuffleboard and golf putting. As well as new seating alcoves that replace the exercise equipment found on the Star and Sea. Not to worry though, because there's now even more to burn off calories at the fitness center below. Just under the graceful Viking smokestack is a wonderful sun deck. With even more welcome seating. And of course the ship's signature infinity pool which is a fantastic vantage point for taking in port views from its zero edge. As well as just a relaxing soak. The main pool is also great for taking a dip.
and is thankfully under a retractable magradome for all weather swimming. There's also plenty of great loungers to recline by. And the winter garden next door is an additional quiet retreat. Perfect for enjoying a good read. Or partaking in afternoon tea. A short elevator ride will take you back to the heart of the ship at the appropriately named Viking Living Room, displaying the ship's godmother, Torstein Hagen's sister this time around. The setting really is as cozy as a living room, and as a perfect home for guest services, as well as an internet station. Remarkably, wired and Wi-Fi connections are entirely free on board. The living room, and the entire ship really, acts as a library. Filled with collections wherever you go. And of course the grand central staircase makes the intimately sized ship feel that much larger than it actually is. Complete with its breathtaking digital tapestry with high definition imagery on rotation. There may not be a casino on board, and quite frankly it's not missed, but you can play poker at virtual tables, as well as many other digital and classic board games. There's also an excellent Viking Heritage exhibit. For those interested in learning more about the culture's history. Meanwhile, on the other side of the atrium is a great scale model of the Viking sky itself. And farther down the way is an epic puzzle table. Those looking to do some shopping on board can do so in the categories of jewelry and watches, as well as at a general store and logo shop. That has since absorbed the separate sundries location from the Star and Sea. Across from its previous location is still the ship's perfumery. where you can also still find excellent L'Occitane products. Just next door is the rejuvenating Live Nordic Spa and Fitness Center. On the sky, the beauty salon has been much reduced in size, but is still plenty big. In so doing, the fitness center has been greatly expanded on the ship since her predecessors, with a much larger motion studio. and far more indoor exercise equipment. In lieu of the exterior varieties omitted above. Meanwhile, the welcoming reception desk still leads to the free changing areas, including a dry sauna. alternating between hot and cold as part of the Nordic bathing ritual, with a chilled plunge pool. A relaxing waiting area then leads out to the common complimentary thermal suite. Complete with heated tile loungers. wintry snow room. Toasty steam room. And soothing philosotherapy pool.
The Viking Sky also treats your stomach well. Starting with drinks at the Viking Bar. Perfect for cocktails before or after dinner. At the likes of the restaurant. The main dining room, of course, has its own bar. As well as wonderful ocean view seating that can be made al fresco at the opening of large patio doors all along the perimeter of the entire venue. Where regional dishes may include delicious smoked haddock soup, delightfully flaky salmon and papillote, and sweet blutkekje. Heading downstairs from the restaurant will take you to the kitchen table. The sole dining option with a surcharge on board. Which is entirely worthwhile. For including a tour to a local market with the chef. An interactive culinary demonstration. And an exclusive dinner right here. Otherwise, specialty restaurants are free, requiring only reservations be made, like at the chef's table, where thematic tasting menus are on rotation. Such as Anthony's French Bistro, starting with savory soup, au truf, before a hearty croton de Chavignon. A palate cleansing granita. La quinelle de so soufflé. And a sweet mirefoy Napoleon. On the opposite side is Manfredi's Italian restaurant. Handsome from the private dining room to the main one. Celebrating Italian cinema on the walls. While courses celebrate traditional dishes like dramatically presented hand cut beef tartare, mouth watering risotto ai fungi porcini. Wonderfully marinated, pesce spada. And a lovely ricotta cheesecake send-off. Upstairs, the World Cafe Buffet is yet another alternative. Self-serving similar fare to the restaurant and more, with the same means of becoming al fresco. And at the back is the Aquavit Terrace for even more indoor-outdoor seating. Where you can enjoy the fresh likes of ahi tuna tacos. Or expertly prepared pesto pasta. The terrace over the stern even flares out some to the side and then leads forward to the main pool area. Where you'll naturally find the pool bar. As well as the pool grill. gourmet items like the delicious Pancho Villa burger. Of course, great room service on board should also not be missed, including fresh caprese salad, Italian club sandwiches, and yes, even awesome chili cheese fries. 
As for entertainment, the Viking Sky excels at enrichment programs and cultural showcases. Such as live music in the atrium. Accompanying daily monk moments. Where the artist's work is displayed on the digital tapestry. Besides the classical trio, great live music extends the solo guitar. as well as solo piano. Of course, the actual music isn't quite so funky. Also home to live performances is Torshaven. in a great cabaret setting with this fixture that I would love to take home with me. Even the pop band here rocks the night away. while the company of house vocalists is also best highlighted in the smaller venue. Where the live music mix accentuates their talent. And playful banter. These shows are not to be missed. Off from the main theater are two cinemas for screening films and documentaries. They can also be cleverly opened up to expand the Star Theater's capacity, where lectures and main production shows are hosted. Here, guest entertainers actually resonate more, like the hilarious Mel Mellers. Production shows alternatively underwhelm, relying too much on video sets and karaoke-grade sound mixes with pre-recorded backing music, instead of the singer's natural talents, which are often lost. Although I do appreciate the occasional international vibe, I could certainly do without the cheesy sing-along text. Even so, the video wall alone can be impressive. And the great singers are worth seeing. And at least much of the audience mostly seems to enjoy the fun of it all. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other YouTube videos, and visit Popular Cruising dot com